So we're here back in the Salty Sailor Tavern, which, by the way, is a really cool name for a tavern, and I feel like we don't appreciate that enough. Um, and all we're working on today is just about <clears throat> the last quest line in Stranglethorn Vale for us, which should be pretty easy, I think. I kind of want to scale up this stupid staff. I really want to use it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is the one we got from Soul for Rock, the Chief's Enforcer. It's 40, 44 DPS. Chance on hit to stun a target for 3 seconds. Our current weapon is a 30 DPS weapon with fiery, plus chance on hit to launch a frost bolt. So, uh, and we also would have the shield, which has, a, which has a mithril spike, which does increase our DPS a little bit too. So it's not a huge DPS upgrade, but it is a bit, and it's kind of a fun weapon anyway. So I've kind of been wanting to just play around with it a little bit. Um, just easier said than done though. It's not the easiest thing to skill up due to uh, us, we just have to go out of our way, right? Like, I mean, we could skill it up anywhere. It's not hard. It just takes time. And I guess I'm a little lazy, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, oh, I need to update my tank set. Um, hold on a sec, let's do this. Let's put this back on. And then update to current items, update. We'll put this back like this. <clears throat> okay, that's better shield down here. All right, so what I did is I have this add-on, um, is it wardrobe? I think it's called Outfitter. Outfitter 1.2.0. It's been really nice, actually. I use a lot of my druid, especially. It's That's the one I really like it for, because I'm constantly changing gear on my druid. This is the wrong way. We need to go... Yarrr, says the Blood Cell Raider. Ah, oh, come on. Stone Clone Totem, go. Unfortunately, I was going to say, unfortunately, my... <laughs> Lightning Shield may have aggro, but it's fine. It worked out okay. Stoneclaw's taking a beating back there. Look at that thing. It's getting walloped. Um, we need to go up a little bit farther up here and just cut over to the beach to save Yaniku. Uh, we just have to cast this Soul Gem on him, which is this Soul Gem. It'll release Yaniku from his imprisonment. We do that, and I think we talk to him, and that's it. Or we kill him after we do that. I forget exactly the order of things, but it's pretty easy. Um, so yellow quest to us shouldn't be too bad. There's a low be druid here, which could kill him, but I feel a little guilty. He can't even see what level I am, I'm so high level compared to him. Do we do we whack him? Do we go for the skill up? Let's whack him once. Bam! Got him. Two nineteen. <laughs> This poor druid, he's gonna get chased down by this high-level gorilla. I'm not- oh, does he get away? He does. Oh no, he got dazed. <laughs> oh, he leashed, okay. I'm not gonna kill him, I'm not gonna kill him. I really wasn't- I just wanted to mess with him a bit. It's too much fun. I'm a terrible person, I'm sorry, I'm so mean. It just- It just, I can't help it, I don't know. <laughs> I think we can cut over from here, I think this, this leads us over. Um, yeah, there's a path up here. Anyway. I still got my mustache. It's, it, today is the... What day is today? I don't have my little display set up today. I forgot to turn it on. Um, Saturday, April 18th. I got a little behind on videos last week. I made a bunch of videos, like recorded them, but I didn't actually upload them. Um, so I've been kind of been sitting around behind on videos. I think our guy would, would be here, but I don't see him. It's a very loud truck that just drove by. Yaniku. What level are these guys? 43, 43. Okay, Yuniku's dead. He should be, I think he would spawn right here. So we could kill some other mobs while we're waiting. I might as well just get some skill ups on my staff. I think I can deal with these warriors if they attack me. It shouldn't be. If they both attack me, it might be tough, but if it's just one, I should be okay. Skill 179. I'm just going to back into the corner here. I'll be a little bit safer if I can like see anything that comes at me a little bit quicker. My staff is doing literally how much damage does it do? Parry. Twenty-two damage. Yeah, weapon skill really is pretty rough. My actions. Twenty-two glancing. Eight damage glancing. When your weapon skill's that low, just everything kind of misses, unfortunately. Um, you should skill pretty fast. Oh, we got a stun. That's cool. There it is. That's fun. Should skill up pretty quickly. 
honestly. I wish I had an AI. Uh, more um, target. Yeah, Neku. Nope. Okay, he despawned. His corpse is gone. So it means he maybe has been dead for a little bit. So it should pop up soon, I hope. I'm gonna kill this mob by flame shocking mostly, but we got a few skill ups. Two skill ups. Oh, he stuns. He interrupts. That's gross. Let's try again. Do a quick heal. Yeah, that's gonna take a while to skill this up. We need to go find better mobs to skill up on, not these kind of ones that hit us pretty hard. <laughs> and we need an AI buff. The more intellect you have, the more weapon, the more rapidly your weapon skills up, which is important. I'm gonna frost shock him to finish him off. Parry, man. So that's pretty bad to go that far through that mob and only get two skill ups. That's not gonna work. We're gonna have to skill this up somewhere else. It's gonna take too long otherwise. Um, let's go ahead and bandage. We're waiting for the Aniku. I'm just gonna put this here. Let's rebuff. Target Yen. Yeah, I'm almost 100% sure. Almost 100% sure he respawns right here. Any chests over here? Anything good? No, I don't really want to fight these stupid zombies. Clementine. Okay, good. We got some horde buddies here. That's nice. That's that's reassuring. Ruth Rogue. R Ru Rogue. Ro Rogue. Ro Rogue. I like that name. Ro Rogue. <laughs> and then who's this other one? Uh, Guanzi. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna camp here. Um, I'll do an occasional tar, yen. Nope. I always type slash target, but you only need to type T A R. Same thing. I don't know why I always type target. It's kind of habit. Same thing I do. Um, I tend to do slash roll one hundred instead of just slash roll, which is the same thing. For some reason, I always specify the number. It's a weird habit. I don't know if this is a chain or not, like, if, if this goes any further. I feel like it should, but then, like, there's a reward here, and a lot of times rewards tend to be the end of the quest line, so... I don't know. Tarian. And I don't see his corpse anymore, though. It's not even, I mean, like I said, I'm not even targeting his corpse, so... That I don't think his respawn is more than 10 minutes. We've been here a couple minutes already. And his, he was already dead before we got here, so I'm gonna get and his corpse respawn pretty quickly after that. So my guess is any moment now he'll pop up. If I see an alliance tag him, I'm gonna kill that alliance as soon as possible. Try and take the mob from him. What's this guy doing? Oh, it's a paladin. I thought it was a warrior for some reason. I always mix up warriors and paladins until I look at them more closely. I just kind of assume for some reason like this looks like it's like wearing plate. Kind of looks like he's a paladin or something or a warrior, but. I just, I always forget about paladins. I forget that they exist as, as things. All right. You know, if I'd, I'd pull, if anything else spawned nearby, like right in this little area, I'd probably pull them at this point just to kill something while I'm waiting to grind something out, but it's not happening, so. I guess that'd be a good time for me to do some weapon skill ups. Like if the paladin's attacking a random mob, I can just go up and help. Kill the mob, you know, whack them. Then I'm not taking the damage and I'm still getting the skill up. It's perfect, in fact. It seems like we have a truce going on. I don't see really anyone here attacking each other. Is you know, what was the guy's name? Kroger's. It's a grocery store chain, I think, in the Midwest called the Kroger. Um, I think it's Midwest. Anyway, just hanging. So... Um, today's Saturday. My wife, my wife's at work today, so she's working the weekend. Um, for the most part, her and most of her colleagues work from home now due to COVID-19, but, um, they still have to have at least one person in every day and there's two people on weekends. So she's in the weekend shift, but she's going to work probably most of the day there, but not a full day and then come home and finish the last of her work at home. Uh, more like charting type stuff, I think. I think it's a plan. So I'm going to go pick her up sometime in a few hours, I guess. Um, I drove her in, dropped her off. I came home. I'm not working today. I might do a little bit of writing on one of my papers we're working on for my lab. Um, there's a, a paper I'll be submitting pretty soon for peer review that some people have given me some comments on for my lab. So I'm kind of waiting to review those. Tarian. I'm not waiting, but I'm planning to review the comments they sent me pretty soon. Um, it shouldn't take too long. It's a pretty short paper. It's like a case report. Case reports tend to be pretty small. Um, they're pretty 
minimal overall. Uh, the case report that I'm looking at is a, we found um, basically, there he is, there's our buddy. Soul gem, okay, got him. All right, <clears throat> you'll receive filled soul gem. Okay, received, and we're done, that was it. That was easy. Cool. Um, Yaniki was struck dumb by the soul gem, cool. I think I might just run up to Grom Goal at this point. I don't really think. I feel like running down, which isn't that far, but running down and then flying is probably not much faster than just a little extra distance of running north. And who knows? Maybe we'll find some herb nodes or mineral nodes. Maybe we'll find some alliance to punch. You know, all good things. There's a panther that I'm trying to avoid. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's a little case report. Oh, I got a skill up. Cool. We got a instance where um, a patient at the hospital we're affiliated with had pneumonia, and um, it was the the clinical lab said it was something that's really common, like um, uh, a, a common bacterium like Klebsiella pneumoniae is a type of bacteria that's common in causing pneumonia. So it came back saying it was something like Klebsiella pneumoniae, and when we took the, the sample of the strain and then did some sequencing, some genome sequencing. We found it was actually not Klebsiella pneumoniae. Um, we found it was a different Klebsiella that was not supposed to be pathogenic. It's one of those things, like the first time someone's ever found this specific species of bacteria um, maybe causes infection. The It's a little more nuanced, the story, than that. Basically, we're just reporting this kind of single instance we have of an interesting bacteria, potentially, potentially, potentially colonizing humans, um, which never been seen before. So it's like it's, it's not a big paper. It's just kind of an interesting story that we think is worth reporting. So we've been putting it together over the last few weeks. Put my mustache here a little bit while I auto run. Uh, so I've been putting it together over the last few weeks. We did some other experiments to go along with it, and we will. Um, or right now we sent it out to everyone in the lab. So our lab mates are reviewing it, giving us comments. And once we get those comments, we will <clears throat> improve upon it, the manuscript a little bit based on what they, their feedback. And then we'll submit it for review. I think within the next two weeks, probably, I would say by the end of the next week, we could submit it if we wanted to. But we will, it depends. We're not in a hurry. It's not a rush. So we'll take our time, but next couple of weeks, which is exciting. It's nice to get papers out. It's important. It's like the um, the currency of scientists, in a sense, um, are really not the currency, but like the products that we have are our papers. You know, all the research we do doesn't really matter if we can't publish it because then no one else can learn from it. So the only value of what we do is either making a product and making a patent and then selling the patent so that some company can uh, mass produce the product or use the technology, or uh, making papers, which isn't a product necessarily, but hopefully helps guide other scientists and doctors, etc. So, yeah, and papers are super important for scientists. Um, so, excited to get a small paper out. Nothing big, won't change my career, but it's maybe useful for people. So, all right, we're over here, we're at Nimboya. We're gonna turn in the Saving in Niku quest. Uh, Supa, Kin Wile told me you set out to capture Yaniku. Is it true? Do you have him? Yep. You've done it. You freed Yaniku from the will of Zanzel and completed the mission I had thought was so desperate. Our tribe will remember your name in song, Supa, and we will teach your tale in stone so that it will live forever. We will etch your tale in stone so that it will live forever. So the staff, we talked about this last episode. We can get a 9 stamina, 3 spirit necklace. Which is not really better than what we have. <clears throat> so we're going to skip that. The mystical staff is 15 spirit, 8 intellect. 15 spirit, 8 intellect. I think that's better than the crescent staff. I think it finally is. We're going to lose the stamina. We're gaining, gaining 8 spirit and 1 intellect, which is really what, what I really want as a healer. A stamina is nice too, but I think we're finally going to replace the Crescent Staff. That's honestly kind of crazy, because even now it's not like a strict upgrade. We're losing stamina at least. 
The Crescent Staff from Wailing Caverns is ridiculously good. We must have got that at level 22, 23. Or level 45. And we're finally replacing it. <clears throat> and we're barely replacing it, in my opinion. Alright. <clears throat> Let's take one last good look at the Crescent Staff. Have that cool crescent moon on the top. This is the one we're getting now, which I think looks kind of cooler. Honestly, I like that little pointy thing. Um, let's do this. Let's swap to our heel gear. Let's equip our staff. Let's update this to current build. Okay. <clears throat> now we're set. We're set. We're all staffed up. Um, Namboya staff. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> okay, is this the tank set? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, the Crescent Staff will now be vendored. I'm sad to see it go, but it served its purpose. We used it a few times for healing, and it was not bad at all. Thank you, Crescent Staff. You were a true hero. I mean, really, that's an insane staff. The Wheeling Cavern Staff is so good. It's so good. Um, now we're done with... We're literally, literally done with everything that I know of in Stranglehorn Vale. Except for quests that take us out of the zone. So at this point... We're gonna... Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna miss this stupid Zeppelin because I was monologuing. I should have known better. I learned that from the Incredibles, not to monologue. Zeppelin, go, go, go. I think it's a Zeppelin I need, right? Talk to me. Double check, double check, double check. Undercity, yep. Perfect. Whew, okay, actually we made it pretty good. So... We talked about this last episode. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, we're going to go up to Undercity, taking the Zeppelin, it's fastest way there, I think. And we're going to go to Terran Mill, and I'm going to do the Crown of Will. I think I can solo this quest. Now, I think they're like level 35 elite ogres. It should be pretty easy at this point. Um, we're going to do the Crown of Will, beat down some ogres. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then, uh, I'm just thinking this through. There's a follow-up to it. We might do the follow-up if we can. I don't know if we'll be able to, but if we can, we'll do the follow-up. If we can't, we'll see if we can, see if we can find a group first of all. If we can't find a group, can't follow solo it, we'll leave it alone, but then we're eventually we're moving up to the Hinterlands. The goal, ultimately today, is to get eventually up here over to the east coast of the Hinterlands. Um, I've given the name of the town there, but uh, we'll get the flight point at least. And we might start questing in the Hinterlands. I don't know for sure if I really am going to do that. But I at least want to get up there so I can get the Whiskey Slim's Lost Grog. So we can turn that back in down in Booty Bay because it's an easy quest to do while we're up there. And what about this? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah... Maybe the wither bark, maybe, <clears throat> maybe the wither bark grim message quest would be fun to do, because it's kind of um, it's another quest we can go complete ninja lands and come back down here and turn in at the same time as the pulley. How do you pronounce this? I always mess this up. The pupply verbose port, pupply. I always call it pulley verbose port, but it's really pupply verbose port. Yeah, so I think that's kind of the goal. Try and get both those quests done. I don't know if we get them done today, but eventually. I know there's other Witherbark quests to do that might be more efficient than just doing this one on its own, the uh, the Grim Message. So we'll see if we can grab some when we're up in the Hinterlands, but if we can't, then uh, if we don't see any good ones, then we'll just go ahead and grab those. We'll just do that one and be done with it. So it's a lot. I don't think it's going to all get done today. I'm sure it's not, but Terran Mill, Crown of Will, as much as we can get done, and then the ideal situation is let's at least get to the Hinterlands and grab the flight point today. If we just get that, I'll be satisfied with what we've done. Hey there. Um, but yeah, I think... Well, it might depend. If we do both steps to Crown of Will, we actually might not get through through it today, but I don't know. <laughs> I have these plans in my head, like, this is what I'm going to try to do today. This is my goal. It doesn't always happen, but it's fun. <clears throat> okay. Um, what if, what's our goal at? Like 150? 180? Okay, yeah, we're pretty good shape. I mean, honestly, we'd have more gold. We would have more gold than we have now if I didn't sell, take a lot of my materials and send them to my bank characters and hoard it all. 
but would also have more gold, less gold if we didn't have my level 60 character to hook us up <laughs> with the mount that I bought for myself. What's this quest? <clears throat> hmm. Oh, Oldeman quest. Okay. Farewell. Okay. Do an Oldeman quest. Um, let me think about this. Is there anything to do with the bank? Anything to do with anywhere else? Is there any gear I want to buy? Like, we haven't been to an auction house. We haven't been to a main city, it feels like, in forever. Although we have been to Orgrimmar a bit. Um, what would I replace? I would like to replace anything that's leather. So my gloves are really the thing I'd want to replace right now the most. Or my pants, which are hard to replace. Um, Alright, let's do armor, uh, mail, usable. But let's, let's leave it to no lower than level 35. It's so the minimum item level. Oh no, that's not what I want. I want um, specifically hands. Well, <clears throat> we can buy an Edge Master's hand guards. If we want to spend four thousand gold, because people are ridiculously overpricing stuff, but sure. Um, I mean, it's worth a lot, but it, I don't, I, the price have gotten insane on that. I wish I had some of those. Though, to be honest, if I find one of these while I'm leveling. <laughs> we're selling that bad boy so fast for like. Yeah, 4,000 gold, let's say. 3,000. I'll go for 3,000 right now. So I'll take the instant 3,000 instead of dealing with bargaining with people. And we're basically setting ourselves up to have our epic mount and half of the way towards our epic flying mount when the Burning Crusade launches. <laughs> so, it's pretty sweet. That's a nice pair of gloves right there. 9 agility, 10 stamina. I might take those. That's only a gold or so. Or 10 strength, 10 agility. Ooh, I like that a lot. That's a strict upgrade. I'm very strongly considering that. What else we got? Some tank gear, some defense. 10 stamina, 9 strength. Turtle scale gloves. Caster stuff. Let's get one of these. Let's get one of these. I like this. War Monger's Gauntlets of the Tiger. 1 gold, 64 silver, 10 agility, 10 strength, and 100 more armor. That's cool. That sounds fun. And what about the pants? Are there any good pants at honestly beat what we have. It's not a lot of choices, honestly. 18 agility, 3 strength, 6 stamina. 40 attack power pants, whoa. I don't think it's better than what we have, because I kind of like, uh, I don't know if that's better. I mean, the pants we have are so good. The closest thing would be this. It'd be more attack power overall, because I think we get 1 or 2 attack power per strength. Um, Agility increases attack power. Yeah, yeah, strength increases attack power with melee weapons. I just don't know. So it'd be more attack power for sure. But is that better than... And we lose... How much crit do we gain from this? Um, so 18 agility. Here's what I want to show you. Okay, so we have a 12.64% crit. 12.64. We lose a whole... It's a 1% chance to crit. Plus we get some armor from that, plus we get some stamina. Man. I don't think that the 40 attack power is that much better than what we have. Because we're losing 1% crit, and crit's so important for flurry. I think we're just going to maintain with this. Um, I think we're just going to leave it. Let's go to recipes, um, engineering. Is there any recipes that I haven't learned? Let's find some easy ones. Yeah, there's some cheap ones. Bright eye goggles, sure. Cat's eye goggles, sure. Goblin landmine. Some of these are really cheap. Let's pick them up. Um, large Cephorium. Oh, myth mithril heavy heavy boar. Let's grab. Let's see this. That's a price like this. Um, hold on a sec. I I, I haven't gone to the auction house and just picked up recipes like this in a long time on this character. And we got that. Um, you know, we picked up the nice underworld band the other day. And so I've been kind of in the mood to just kind of spend a little bit of that money on this character. And it's not necessary to get the engineering stuff, but kind of fun. Now, here's the thing. There's an argument to be made <clears throat> to make all the Gotten the Gnomish stuff and then be done with it. But I think... I don't really think I'm ever going to take the time on this character to abandon engineering and then relearn goblin engineering. I just don't know if I care. I have friends that could make me the goblin stuff. Um, and I think I'd rather just do, take advantage of their utility for that. 
And I think I'm not gonna bother with... Oh, some more iron grenades. I don't want any more of these. I returned the stuff I'd sent in the mail a while back to my character, so... Solid stone, heavy stone, solid stone. Cool. Yeah, I just don't think I... want to take the time to relearn engineering. The reason why I'm saying that, uh, that's not what I want, um, is because that means it is worthwhile to buy all these random recipes and learn them. If I was going to drop engineering and lose all that and then retrain goblin engineering, I would probably not bother with these random recipes, but at this point, I think it's reasonable to do it. Uh, let's make up some of this blasting powder. All these little things we do takes up so much time out of leveling, you know? That's okay. I like doing them. It's kind of fun. Um, landmines. Place the goblin landmine on the ground. It'll explode for... That sounds really fun. I've never made one of those before. I want to make some of these out. <laughs> I want to set some landmines. Uh, cat's eye ultra goggles increase your stealth detection. Not that useful for us. Bright eye goggles. Not that useful for us either. But it's just fun to get all this stuff put together, you know? to learn all the recipes. I, I enjoy kind of just collecting that. And then here is our new gloves, which will now be a part of our tank set, which also means I can vendor off these Tiger Hunter gloves, which have served us well, but it's, again, you know, time to let go. I think we spent 1.5 gold, 1 gold, 50 silver, excuse me, or so on those gloves. And I just sold those gloves back for 30 silver, so we spent a little over a gold on, it's not too bad. Um, okay, recipes, engineering, usable. Alright, so what I'm looking for are cheap things. <clears throat> okay, mithril bore, rifle, um, parachute cloak, that seems fun. Large C4M charge, sure. What else we got? The rest of stuff's a little expensive, I don't really feel like spending it. Uh, what about... First aid, anything we can learn here? No, <laughs> I'm not spending 35 gold on a manual strong anti-venom. It's a joke. Uh, it's ridiculous. Nope, not happening. All right. Well, now we're pretty, you know, kind of well, well geared in some ways. Um, you got almost full male gear now. We still have leather pants, but that's okay. They're really good pants. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Auction one, let's train these things. At 47 is when I can learn my next cool weapon that I've got, so I've got a couple levels to go. The Parachute Cloak reduces your fall speed for 10 seconds. Honestly, a really cool item that we should probably make for ourselves at some point. <clears throat> the large C4M charge is kind of nice too. Could have some use. The Mithril Heavy Bore rifle is not really that useful. Um, Alright, so I want to send more of these things over to my bank. Make a little more space. Uh, send this over to my other bank. More bank stuff. I don't need all this cloth right now. I've got a plenty of bandages, and I'm not going to head up to train anything higher for a while. Um, for a little bit still, so we're just going to leave this be like that. There's a dog barking outside quite a bit. I love dogs, by the way. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. Um, we don't have any pets, my wife and I, but... I, oh, is this an unholy enchant? Or, um, oh, never mind. Wait, what? It's just a crusader, but it's got a cool glow to it, I guess. Warblade of the Hakari, Brutality Blade. This this rogue's stacked. He's got Bloodfang, he's got the uh, Nefarian Necklace, he's got the AV Exalted Ring, Hand of Justice, Black Hand's Breath, uh, Dire Maul Ring, uh, Legionnaire, so he's a PvP, yeah, 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 Night Slayer, so he's got four-piece Night Slayer. Pretty solid. Okay, let's move over to Terran Mill. Terran Mill. <clears throat> so what we're looking for while we're here is, um... Where is it? The Crown of Will. So this quest is actually in Alterac Mountains. It's not a super hard quest the level we're at, but when you first get this quest, it's way too high level for you. Like, you're not going to be able to kill these ogres on your own at level 32 or whatever. You pick up the quest from Terran Mill. It's way too high level. Um, 
And the good news is the quest, it takes a while before it turns to gray. So right now it's a green quest to us. So we can do it now and turn it in and get a decent amount of experience still. Um, it has a nice chain and I think the final reward is pretty good. So I think I'm going to try to do this. I think it'd be kind of cool. I'd enjoy doing it. Um, let's join looking for group and say this. Um, anyone for the crown of will in Althrak? Looking for group. All right, let's see if we can find anyone. I can solo this part. It's the next part I'm worried about. While we're flying, I'll thank my um, my Patreon supporters, especially Timothy B, Luke D, and Chris S. You're probably familiar with their names by now if you've been watching the channel, but they're my top top tier Patreon supporters, so they get a shout out by name. Um, I've been a little bit the last day or two. I've been a little bit slow. Oh, I'm rolling away, rolling away. Our floors are crooked in this room, like literally, and so, and I've got a wheelie chair, and so it actually, I literally roll away sometimes. Um, I mean like literally our floors, have you ever seen, okay, let me go back. <clears throat> um, I've been a little bit absent in my Discord the last few days, just been kind of doing some own things, hanging with my wife a bit, um, but I'm just checking it this morning, kind of catch up people, it's been nice. Um, that's the Discord for my Patreon support is what I'm talking about, that's why that's the context of that. So then, the other thing, as I was rolling away, I caught myself, pulled myself back up and survived. The problem is I'm like bound by this headphone um, to my computer and I really don't want to rip it out of my computer. So I am pretty much constantly in a state of bracing myself with my foot kind of like locked under my chair to hold myself in place here um, so I don't roll away. But our floors in here are actually crooked. And have you ever seen an episode of How I Met Your Mother? Um, it's an episode where someone buys an apartment and the apartment or buys a condo or something. And they're in love with it and they love it and then their friends come over and they're like oh my gosh we can't tell them that they're um looking for group the crown of will let's see if we can talk in general um we can't tell they don't want to tell their friends that they bought a crooked apartment or something and that's exactly how our home is the floors are crooked not like ridiculously so but enough that if I actually just like let go here and just kind of and wiggle a little bit, if my if my wheels are kind of oriented in the, in the direction of the slope on the chair, um, if the chair's wheels are oriented in the direction of the slant on the floor, I will roll away. It does happen. Crush Ridge Maulers. Now I think these guys are actually more inside of the ruins of Alterac. I don't think they're around here. <clears throat> but these guys, yeah, these are the non-elite, so these are not them. It's a 35, huh? <clears throat> I don't remember what level, I guess, the elites are, but I thought they were closer to, like, 35, 36. It's a bad spot to AFK. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Maulers, 36 elites. Okay, that's fine. I think we can handle these guys, no problem. Um, I'm going to tote them up, and I'm going to pull some of these up here. One by one, of course. Let's see how this goes for us. I don't really know how we'll do, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, that was a nice crit. I felt good. I guess the question is, how hard does he hit us? 44 damage, and he stuns. 48 damage. Dodge. We parried. We dodged. 44, 48. 89 to crit or crushing, maybe? A miss? Okay. 13 damage. These should be just fine. They're, they're, we're high enough level that it's really not a huge problem. Um, which is great. Ooh, a night sky orb. What is that? Is it held an offhand spirit intellect type of thing? That's what I'm kind of getting the vibe. Also an iron deposit here. Wouldn't mind scooping that up in a second. So what do we get? <clears throat> held an offhand. Six intellect, two stamina, three spirit. It's got a nice little glow to it. It's kind of cool. Um, we're not going to use that, I don't think. Because we still don't have eight spirits of intellect. Yeah, I think our offhand is still better. Lord Sacrus's scepter. <clears throat> but we will eventually... We don't even have a main hand anyway to use with it. So that's the real limitation. Ogre Mage, another Mauler over here. Let's do a quick heal. Well, let's let's keep moving in position. All we gotta do is kill 14 of these guys. So we don't have to necessarily go in super deep in here. Actually, I wanna get this Mithril deposit. There's some... We've seen a Mithril and an Iron... 
deposit already here. That's nice. Definitely take Mithril anytime. We still need that for skill ups more than anything. Uh, what are we at? 223, 221, 222 now. Um, I think 230, I've been talking with this, is true silver. Um, so we're trying to get up to true silver, which will be a little helpful, but there's not a lot of true silver deposits, so it's not incredibly helpful. Let's get a few totems up. I'm just going to get a couple. I'm going to pull this smaller. We're going to have to go into the front gates here in a moment, um, which is fine. No harm in that. Let's drop a totem. Okay, we're just going to melee from here on out. I wish our staff was our staff skill was up, it's just not there yet. We'll get it there, but for the time being, we're gonna stick with the one hander and the shield. I still I've talked about this before, I still wish I had spec'd a little differently here. I wish I had put all the points in shield spec. Um, instead of two points in ancestral knowledge. This is useful, it's not worthless, but this is way better for us since we've been leveling using this. Um, <clears throat> I'm tempted to honestly respec soon before we skill up so let me show you something what i want to do eventually is use that two-handed mace or whatever it is is it a mace or is it an axe i want to eventually skill that up so we can the one that we have in our um mailbox but i kind of want to do that i want to kind of respec and like improve this spec a bit so i'm not wasting points in ancestral knowledge um I kind of want to do that sometime soon. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Okay. I think we're okay pulling here. I don't think anything patrols through this. And if it does, it'll come from this direction probably, so we should be fine. And we can pull this next mauler right here, so it's perfect. <clears throat> but yeah. <clears throat> we're feeling... Feeling pretty beefy, you know? Um... I, I just feel like our character is doing well for his level. I, I think we're well geared. Relatively well geared. But not insanely well geared, but pretty well geared. I just need some enchants. Maybe some like low level cheap enchants would really help out. I've been a little lazy on getting those. A lot of times if you just look around in Orgrimmar, people sell them for a uh, give them away for free. Or just ask for like a small tip, because they're leveling up anyway. Um, but I have not done that at all. Uh, I've been lackadaisical, I guess, is the, is the word I could use in terms of getting enchants on my gear. Um, I think sometime the next episode or two, I'm going to go to Orgrimmar and buy a movement speed enchant to our boots. I think that'll be, more than anything, the most helpful thing we can get while leveling. Um, it would just be really useful. And I, I hope to kind of maintain that through, um, through level 60. Just, like, keep putting it on every pair of pants we find, or a pair of boots we find. Um, this is another mauler. I think we're going to abandon those totems and move up. Um, there's a couple of maulers in this direction. It'd be nice to get those. Let's just pull this guy. Kind of a bad spot to pull here, but I think we're okay. Unless this guy's pathing right to us? I'm not sure. Find out in a moment. Stun. It's fine. What is this? Is this ogre poop? How have I never noticed that before? You know what I'm talking about? Like, look at this. I'm about dying here. I guess it's gonna be the thumbnail for this episode. I'm gonna kill this guy quickly and bandage. Oh. Are these leather? Probably. Archer's boots of stamina. 10 stamina. Huh. Not better than what we have for sure, because they're leather especially, but. Hmm. I'm trying to determine if there's any quests. Can I pull this guy? Nice. I think I can get him from here. Um. Okay. I was worried I was going to social aggro this guy, but it worked out just fine. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if there's any other quests around here that I'm forgetting. I like that I should be picking up for this specific area, but I think we're good here. I think we're pretty set. Quests. Um, you know, I want to... I've got... I'm running low on some water here, I guess. I was, like, looking at my water. I'm like, I'm kind of low on water. AI, please? <clears throat> Let's see if we can get an AI buff from this guy. That'd be really nice. Maybe? He may begin that iron deposit up there. Kind of looks like it. 
Maybe skilling up mining. I remember doing that. Thank you. That was nice. That's awesome. So that gives us 22 intellect. Um, which is 223, mana, I think. That's, um, like, basically about... Nah. Yeah, almost exactly, uh... Not exactly. A little bit less than two lightning bolts. Very nice. Um... I wonder what he's doing over there. Maybe he's... Oh, maybe he's getting an herb node. Might be skilling up herbalism. That would make sense. But I would like the iron deposit. There is a Winter's Bite. Is something you can get here. Um, it's only in Alterac, right around here. It's the only place in the whole game you get Winter's Bite as a herb. As, a, as something you can loot, I mean. Um, from an herb node. You can also get it from random drops, like the Tar Creeper things in Ungoro. Winter's Bite doesn't have a lot of use, though. It's like, um... Icy weapon, like, like an icy spell power type of thing. Uh, there's a few alchemy things, but it's not wildly useful, in my opinion. Um, I'm not going to put a lot of totems here, since we're just going to kill this one mob, and... Oh. <laughs> Did you see Panda Cub? Rewind the video, like, ten seconds. And watch Panda Cub. He went, like, flying off that mountain with a trail of snow behind him. That was really cute. I love that Panda Cub, man. He's awesome. I get so many comments in the Panda Cub. So many people are like, where'd you get that? How do I get one? Oh my gosh, it sleeps. Oh my gosh, did you click it? It sounds so cute when you click on it. Let's see if I can, uh... Let's finish this fight and I'll click him. If you haven't heard, I've, I've clicked him before, but... For those of you that weren't paying attention, haven't heard, or maybe first-time viewers or something, let's... Let's participate in the joy that is the Panda Cub squeal. Just a moment here. Oh, he fell asleep again. Let's finish auto-attacking. Come on. Just stabby stab. Flurry crit. Come on. Nice. That'll work. We're 8 of 14 on this, by the way. Alright, listen for this. Is that not the cutest little pet sound effect ever? Panda Cub's so cool, man. I'm... That was the best collector's edition, special edition of any video game I've ever purchased, was ensuring that I had a panda cub. 100%. Alright, toteming, toteming, toteming -ing up. I don't really know how to turn totem casting into a verb. Toteming. Toteming up? Maybe toteming. That's good. Alright, we popped uh, berserking. This guy should get nuked down pretty good with uh, Berserking up and Flurry now. and Our 100 DPS for that moment is pretty sweet. With a one-hander and shield, it's pretty sweet. Alright. Got him. Okay. Another one down. Uh, are there any other ones I can pull nearby? There's that. That's a Enforcer. They've got the different weapon. They've got the hammer. The ones I need have that, uh, what is it, Axe? One-handed axe, yeah. The brutes, okay. Mauler, oh the mauler, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, sure, this seems fine. It takes so long to cast on my totems. I'm not always sure if it's a good, if it's worth it. <laughs> I constantly am deciding: is it worth it? Should I cast my totem? Should I just melee? And I think this is. Oh no, here we go. Grailborg the miser. This is bad. He's a beast. We're gonna finish this guy off, we're just gonna spell interrupt Grailboard as needed. Okay. I'm just gonna move out of the rain of fire, that's perfect. That means he's not DPSing me right now. <laughs> right? If someone's casting rain of fire and you move out of it and they keep casting it, no damage to you. I've got a bunch of heal potions, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna loot this guy. And we're, gonna, we're just gonna kill Grelborg, I guess. I wasn't planning to do that, but might as well clear him out of the way a bit. Um, he's not actually casting his spells at me. He does have this flame ward thing. A little annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. I guess I should cast Lightning Bolt when he's in that position. That'd probably be the way to do it. Anyway, it's fine. I'm gonna do this. 
and Earthshock, and he's almost dead. I used a potion that I didn't really need to use. I should use my Greater Healing Potion. I was being a little bit cautious. We eventually have to come back and kill this guy for a quest, honestly. So it's like a little silly that I killed him just now, but it's fine. Let's pull this guy. Oh, that guy ran fast. Okay, I'm about out of mana, and I don't have a lot of health. And I used my potion already, so I need to be a little careful here. They do that knockdown thing. He'll definitely do a knockdown. Um, as soon as he does that, I'm going to cast a big heal on myself. Is he going to do it? There it is. Okay. Now let's cast the heal. He'll knock it back. Like He'll push it back like three times. I should get a heal off still. Perfect. And let's Frost Shock. Finish him off. Grace of Air, Strength of Earth, Flurry, Wind Fury. Pro oh, Wind Fury's gone. That's sad. Let's rebuff that. Wait, was it gone? Or was that just the, the temporary... Yeah, that was... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wasn't paying the most attention to that. Let's drink. Okay. So we need three more kills. Um, it's not a... You know, this is a very simple quest, and we're high enough... It's only simple because we're high level. This is a really difficult quest, to be clear. I was talking about this earlier, but it's a really tough quest if you are level... Um, Well, really, I would say 40 or below. It's a tough quest. I think once you're 45, you're in pretty good shape to solo it. Um, let's go ahead and toss a quick heal on myself. Don't need a lot. Should regen the rest of the way. That's why I got all that spirit stacked, right? Look at that. 133 spirit. Thank you, Ice Mail Jerkin. Um, but where are our maulers? There's one. I was looking around for treasure chests while I'm in these little areas, but I don't see anything here. I think I'm just going to drop a single totem and just pull this guy like this. The totem got in range, started pulling, so I was a little bit caught off guard on that. I'm not caught off guard, but I didn't get a chance to cast lightning bolts, but it's okay. Um, we'll blow this guy up, and then we might kind of head back. I think we might find the last couple we need on the way out. Well, we are not getting anywhere near the hinterlands today. I was saying, like, I was hoping to, like, oh, at least we'll get there, and hopefully... Um, get the flight point, but we're not even going to get um, done with this quest before the episode is done. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, it just took a while. I took a little bit too much time in Undercity, probably. Let's, yeah, let's start heading back. I think it might be respawns. They're not, it's not a fast respawn, but it shouldn't be too long. And I think just kind of casually running back, if I can just pick up a couple right here, be ideal. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. I don't just see any respawns. Let's kill a mage up here for funsies while we're waiting for a respawn. I, there's plenty of mobs for me to kill back there. I was just thinking it might be more efficient if I do this. These guys should be pretty easy for us to kill. They're, they have a lot less health. And we can spell interrupt most of their big damage stuff like this. So they're not going to really do it. Oh, he's going to get that one off. That's okay. I'll uh, get him here. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Respawn. Perfect. That's what I was kind of expecting. I was thinking they might be respawning any second now. I was like, this is pretty close to the time they should respawn. Let's get a little more use out of our Searing Totem before it despawns. How much damage does this do? About 30 damage. Yeah, 30 damage on average per shot every two seconds or so, two or three seconds. It's not bad. Not bad. Um, this guy's being a little bit of a pain. I'm gonna just do at least one Frost Shock, get some damage going there. Do I really have two ranks of Frost Shock? I can't be right. Elemental, whoops. Really, only two ranks. We probably are getting a third rank pretty soon, I would guess. Let's uh, use a bandage. Now we just need one more respawn here. There he is. Perfect. And we can just go all out on this guy in terms of casting totems or spells or whatever we want. Um, because we're going to just regenerate everything when we get back to... Uh, on the way back to Terran Mel to turn this quest. Oh, he resisted my earth shock. That was nasty. I used Storm Strike, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get this guy with a solid Earth Shock, and then he resisted it, and just kind of stinks. 
Uh, it's fine, but, you know, it doesn't feel the best. <laughs> it's like, come on, don't resist. You're like nine levels below me. Alright. Even using all of our mana, these guys are pretty beefy. I mean, really, that was not a fast kill, all things considered. Alright, Emerald Raptor and an Iron Deposit straight ahead. Is that clear? Yeah. Let's go grab this Iron Deposit, and then we're heading back. We've got all 14 of these killed. Um, head back to Terran Mill, turn in this quest. I think we will... Considering stopping here for today, how's our bag space? We're, we're good on bag space. Jade, nice. I always like picking up gemstones. They're not super useful, a lot of these low-level ones, but they have uses. So I tend to just kind of hoard them in my bank character, one of my bank outs. Um, anyway, I'm over, I need to do Venture Co. Quest. It's funny. Seeing people look for help for low-level quests most of the low-level quests, you can solo. There's a few you need help with for sure, but most of them you can solo. Nothing wrong with asking for help. I don't, I'm not trying to like shame this guy. I'm just thinking about it like... I don't know if I ever really look in world chat for groups. Hmm. Anyway. Well, I don't know if I look in world chat for groups that low of level. Usually the first time I'm really looking for a group... like I, that, You just level so fast at low levels that the first time I really look for help is for Ragefire Chasm. Um, usually around level 10 to 12, I'll start looking for a group for that, probably 11 to 13. Um, I don't really look for a group any time before then. I, if someone's around and I see someone doing the same quest to me, I might invite them to group, but otherwise I don't go out of my way to necessarily look for people. But, I, you know, again, not shaming that guy. You should do whatever you want. It's, <laughs> it's your life, it's your game, just, just have fun. Um, what is this wanted quest? I don't remember this. Oh yeah, we skipped this quest, that's right, because it's a low-level quest. Okay. The Crown of Will. We are now honored with Undercity, that's nice. Um, kill Targ, Muckrake, and Glamis, that's the one we just killed, and bring their heads to Melisara in Terran Mill. We can solo that quest, should be fine. I'm gonna talk to the tailoring supply guy over here. Vendor off, what do we have to vendor off? Really nothing, actually. That's surprising, almost everything we got there is actually has value. That I wouldn't vendor it directly. Huh. Yeah. We're keeping all that. Um, not most. Uh, recently, yes. It's closer to... Forty-five Alliance Horde. Maybe 58, 42. 50 until a few weeks ago. Alright, just fill in some people in. You know, I'm going to stop here for today. I think this is a nice stopping point. Um, but what I will do is next episode, I think we'll head straight back up there and knock out these three guys real fast. It should be soloable for us. should be okay. We'll complete that, come back to Terran Mill. It'll probably take us 15 minutes to get up there, kill them, and come back. 15, 20. We'll come back, turn in this quest. The follow-up is the final step in this quest, for the most part, for the last like a kill quest. I think we might be able to solo it. Given that this is still green and how easy we took down Glamis, I think we'll be okay. We'll see. Um, anyway, <clears throat> that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.